Hey! If you have alts that need gear, hop into this week's PvP Brawl. If you're seeing this late, don't worry. It's coming back on October 4th once all the brawls cycle through again. It's not just honor you can farm, which is what I've been using it for. It can also help increase your renown level and honor level, and it's good for learning classes and specs that you've wanted to use. This battleground is pretty much guaranteed wins, and the rewards are always worth it. Sometimes the matches can be 2-3 minutes long, and the queue time is even shorter. The reason why these games are so easy is because it's a Wrathy Basin versus bots. So really your opponents are very predictable, and you could pretty much do the same thing every game and still get the same result. Each bot even has a predictable path, so if you memorize it, it makes for super easy games. So far I've been doing this on my Paladin, my Druid, my Hunter, my Coltier and Warrior, and my Zandalari Warrior. But right now I'm going to show you on my main Hunter how quick and easy this is. This brawl comes up once every couple months, so just check on your calendar to see when it's up next. Alright, so I'm just going to go over the thought process behind these games. I'm going Lumber Mill because it's my favorite. I'm often checking the map to make sure that we all split up properly, because a pretty even group goes to each. Like, see, we have a decent group just to fight this one. First them down quick so you can all go to stables. This same thing should be happening at mines and blacksmith. Everyone's still split very evenly. And that helps a lot because once the bots start dispersing everywhere, if you distract them, they won't go towards the bases, they'll just go after you. Like right now, I see a whole group of the bots go that way. But I have a bunch of teammates that way, so I'm not worried. So I just focus helping stables. If you start spinning the flag here, they target you. So the goal is to stun them or fight towards graveyard so they're not close. Of course, if you're gonna be gearing up alts, you're not gonna be running through everybody. Some of these bots can be really good at silencing and stunning. See right there, I just had to intercept them. They typically go right, even if you're coming from the Alliance side. As you can see, a couple got passed, and they ended up getting Blacksmith, but I'm not too worried about it because we still have some teammates back there. Other than that, we just have to keep the big group here. Just an intercept game at this point. I should have looked at that achievement, I don't know what that is.
And that's pretty much how easy this is. All right, guys, I hope you found this useful. And I know I was surprised when I first found out about this. So I was just making sure that more people knew about it because it really helped out. It makes gearing up the alts so much easier. Yeah.